I'm back. Now, have you ever watched a makeup video and you're hearing all these terms and you don't know what the heck they're talking about? I did too. I first started to apply makeup. In a tear duct, T-zone, cupid's bow, lower lash line, eyebrow bone, upper lash line, like, what? What? Okay. This video, just for you. You know, I got you guys, you know. Makeup be my thing. So I'm gonna let you know what this technical jargon is. The person's only in the makeup world would know what it means. So, my makeup's on. It's coming off in a bit. But, this is Makeup Talk 1. Oh, one. Okay, for the sake of this video and illustration purposes, if my light would just get back to where it been, awesome. I'm going to use this eyeliner stick. That's from Kishima, little known name brand. That's besides the point. I'm going to point to the areas that we're focusing on. The first one is called and i wrote these down so i don't forget because you know makeup can be technical people it can be technical well, this thing will just keep still what's going on here inner tear duct now the inner tear duct is this part of the eye right there so from time to time you'll see makeup anyways putting makeup in the corner right there of your eye that's the inner tear duct inner tear duct second one is called the brow bone I'm gonna come up now of course you know where your brows are that's your eyebrows so the brow bone will be this area right there usually the brow bone is used for highlighting so the brow bone is this part right there that I'm showing you the next one is called the lower lash line now your lower lash line will be the line underneath right there usually used for eyeliners and when they want to smoke it out underneath the next part is called the crease the crease is this part in here where we use to put transitions transition colors usually transition colors are neutral orange sometimes a deep maroon color the crease is this part right in here this is the middle part of your eyelid. Okay, the upper lash lid will be this portion at the top, usually used for liquid eyeliners. Where I have my black liquid eyeliner right here. The T zone is really a T. It's the top, the top of your forehead, bottom of your chin, and then the side. So it's like shaped like a T. T zone this area in here next up is the outer V the outer V is this portion right here it's supposed to shape like a V it's this portion here along with this portion here so basically this portion here the outer V and you use that to put dark colors in to just let it merge into the lighter colors. We're almost done, guys. You see how quick this is? Top lashes would, of course, be these lashes here. We use for mascara. Of course, your bottom lashes will be down here. And as you can see, mine's are non existent, so I don't even fool with that. All I do on my lower lash line, when that's a low lash line, is I put the eyeliner there or I smoke it out with some eyeshadow color. 
and then the final one will be your cupid's bow and your cupid's bow is simply this portion of your lip your cupid's bow is this portion right here that people use to highlight um, I think that's it that's makeup talk 101 I, I don't think I've said everything we know where our lips are we know where our chin is we know where everything is only thing I probably didn't mention was your jawbone this is used for contouring and highlighting and it's this portion right here and of course you notice this is your nose bridge that person is also used for highlighting but that's it guys that's it for our makeup talk 101 I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned from this video and if you have any more questions get the light focus any more questions about makeup talk and any of the makeup talk I didn't mention ask me in the comment section okay but make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up one more thing subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys be safe. Mwah.